Blender 3.6 is only a week away, and it's a bigger one, so let's cover what's new, starting with animation. There's now a hotkey for blend and smoothing animations, these being option S and option D, in the animation tabs. You can also now extend weight paint like you can do in edit mode using the hotkey command, then either plus or minus. You can now see the scene duration via the status bar. <laughs> like seriously, I've been wanting this one for a while. You just need to enable it first. You can now zoom in selecting channels by using period, assuming you have a numpad. Or you can right click and select frame selected channels. You can now choose whether the bone relationship lines are connected to the head or tail of the bone. The key menu in the graph editor has now been tweaked to have more submenus for organization purposes. There's now a new smooth operator that allows you to control how much the smoothing is affected. There's of course lots of other smaller tweaks to animations, such as when hitting normalize, the Y extents of a visible F curves are framed automatically. In other news, there's now a bunch more nodes supported in the viewport compositor. As for modeling, it's mainly the UV editor that has had improvements, mainly in forms of performance. There's also some tweaks to the existing operators, like Pack Islands, that now has a new look, and some new features. Now to the big one that I know people have been waiting a long time for. Simulation nodes are finally here. You can create them by using simulation input and output nodes. Bake them in the standard physics area. Now let's check out the cool demo that Blender has provided us. Okay, so here you see the Blender simulation file. If I hit play, you'll see that it actually does some pretty cool stuff. In a basic sense, what simulation nodes are allowing it to do is update automatically which what they have in here is a whole bunch of math nodes that uh, make it so that it evaluates things and does a specific things like that. It, it's a little more in depth than I'm typically used to with geometry nodes, but in a basic sense, that is what it just, you know, why it's working with simulation nodes. It's really quite cool, and I can't wait to explore this farther. See, like, look at this. If I go in 3D right here, you can see it just boom, 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 boom. And because it's geometry nodes, all I have to do to edit, like the density, say I want a whole lot less. I can and type 100 in here, reset the simulation, and <laughs> you can see there's practically nothing in here. So there's the big thing with geometry nodes and really the entire update, but there's still more. Nodes in general have had some big performance increase, and there's now an index nearest node that gives the index of closest non-self. The Mesh to Volume node now generates proper fog volume rather than converted SDF. There's also now a new feature linking to the online Blender documentation for nodes. All you have to do to access it is right click and then select the online documentation. Okay, so outside of nodes, importing and exporting PLY files are now way faster due to rewriting it in C++. Exporting FBX files should also be faster now. As for sculpting, there's a lot more options under the Sculpt tab. There's also been a variety of interface tweaks for quality of life, such as tooltips for the hair. Another notable one is that you can now edit proportional editing size directly from the proportional editing popover. Okay, so that wraps up the biggest features in Blender 3.6. There's definitely some other minor ones that you could check via the release logs, and you could definitely tell that they're focusing on a different pair of features in this update. Like for Grease Pencil, they barely even touched it. Also, for future updates, I kind of hope Blender focuses a little bit more on virtual reality, Maybe implement something for the Vision Pro? That'd be pretty cool, but that's just my take. Otherwise, let me know what you think about this update as a whole. Personally, I think it's pretty good, especially with those simulation nodes. I think those could actually be pretty sweet. Well, thanks for watching, have a good day, and bye! Also, thanks everyone that checked out Flicade on Kickstarter. It's now over, but it will be available on Etsy soon.